Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to have our lesson about simple interest. We're going to try and make it simple and learn about interest. First off, the formula or the formulas that you'll look at are all based off of this. The interest amount is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. I just want to show you a couple of things. The interest amount is an amount in dollars. All right, usually write this in a decimal. The principal uh, is the original amount invested, the amount that you're putting in. The rate is often written as a decimal, um, but you will usually have to convert it from a percentage to a decimal. As in this example, 3% is equal to 0 0.03. And time is always measured in years in this equation. So we'll see some variations of this, but that's the basics of it. The principal formula or the interest formula can be written to solve for any of the four variables. So the original equation is interest is equal to principal times rate times time. But if you're trying to find the principal, then you would use this equation. The rate, you would use this equation. And the time, you would use this equation. That's not um, to say that <clears throat> you can't always use this one here. But if you have these four kind of nearby and transformed, then you'll be able to use them and it's a little bit quicker. That's what I'll be doing. So I'll keep those four equations up top and solve using one example for each. So this is a basic interest question. Find the interest earned if you invest $500 for three years at 5% interest rate. So I am looking for the interest earned. That's an interest amount in dollars. All right. The biggest confusion I find is that people will get the interest amount mixed up with the interest rate. All right. The interest amount represented by I is how much money you're actually earning in interest. So what I'm looking for is that interest amount. So this is the equation I'm going to be using. I'll substitute in the principal. That's how much I invested, 500. The rate of 0.05 or 5% and the time of three years. And then I just multiply 500 times 0 0.05 times 3 is equal to 75. Therefore, I earned $75 in three years from my investment. All right? And that's, a, that's, what it, that's basically it. All right. How much money would you need to invest at 3% interest to earn $87 in six months? This question here is asking us to find how much money would you need to invest? The amount of money that you're investing, or the original amount that you're putting in, is the principal. So we are going to use this equation where we solve for the principal. I'll take my interest amount and divide it by my interest rate times my time. Now, note that it is six months of time. Because it's six months of time, that's half of one year. So we would write that as 0 0.5, all right? Or you could write it as a fraction of one half if you wanted, but writing it as 0 0.5 meaning it's half of a year. Remember, our time is always measured in years. So if they give you an amount in months, you're going to have to convert it into representing it in years. All right, so six months is half of a year, so it would be multiplied times 0 0.5. 87 divided by 0 0.35 times 0 0.5 will give us 5,800. So you would need to invest $5,800 at 3% interest to earn $87 in six months. All right. Um, the next question, at 4% simple interest, how long would it take for $200 to double? So we're looking for how long it would take. So that is a question that is looking for the time. That's how many years it's going to take. Um, I want to know if $200 will double. So in other words, my interest amount that I'm going to get back will be equal to the principal. So my interest amount will be $200, and my principal will also be $200. Okay? So $200 of interest divided by my $200 principal, and that's multiplied times the interest of 0 0.04, it would take me 25 years. So that would be my time at the end. And remember, time is always measured in years in this equation. So it would take 25 years for $200 to double at 4% simple interest. All right. 
The final question, if you invest $1,200 and you want to earn $100 in five years, what would the interest rate be? All right. So that one there, we're looking for the interest rate. So we're going to use our third equation. The rate is equal to the interest divided by the principal times the time. The interest I'm trying to earn is $100. So that's going to be up top. My principal amount, how much I'm investing, is $1,200. And the time is five years. When we multiply that out, we get 0 0.0167. Now, I'm going to change that into being a percentage. It's about 1.6. 7% or approximately 2%. We, I'm just going to round up to the nearest percentage. So again, I just shift that decimal two places here. That would give me 1.67% or about 2%. So if I invest $1,200 at 2% interest in five years, I'll earn myself $100 worth of interest. All right? And that is how we use the interest, the simple interest equation in all of its forms.